right, all right. Hey guys, welcome back to Motor Gear TV. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, my name is Kirk, and right here is my BMW 335i. Mark with the B-roll magic, you know, big up to him as well for the awesome cinematic we just got a while ago. All right, what's up, guys? Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Motor Gear TV. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Kirk, and as you guys can see from the title of the thumbnail, I'm here to talk to you about my one-year ownership experience with my BMW 335i. There's a couple of things I wanted to accomplish with doing this review just to give you guys an idea of you know why I chose the car some of the positives I had from the experience some of the negatives and just basically some of the things you need to look out for especially if you're going to consider getting into a car like this so I picked up the car end of 2019 it's a 2011 335i this is actually the only e90 335 with the N55 motor in it and that came out in 2011. It's a inline six twin scroll turbocharged engine. It's a rear wheel drive as well. Initially when I sought out to get a car, I wanted something that was, you know, pretty fast, reliable and also within a certain budget. Now luckily I was able to get this car for under $10,000. It was a two owner car, came with 80,000 miles and since then I put about 4,000 miles on the car, which isn't a lot for the year, unfortunately. I've been working from home a lot of the time, um, so I haven't been able to drive it as much as I wanted to. Regardless of all of that, I've still been able to modify the car, still been able to drive the car and experience everything I really wanted to do. And I've basically done everything I wanted to do to it as well. For those of you who have been following me from the start, I got this car exterior wise, basically bone stock. The engine, however, had full bolt-ons um, charge pipe, intercooler, exhaust, everything. I know a lot of you are curious to see what the engine looks like and this is it. Twin scroll N55 motor. As you guys can see it looks pretty stuck looking at it from the top. Couple things that you guys can see from at least from here. It does have the charge pipe. We have the ETS front mount intercooler right there as well. But for overall other than that car does look pretty stuck. Everything else is underneath which would be the downpipe and the exhaust. Here's one of the main things to focus on, especially when you're looking for this car. You definitely want to make sure that there's no leaks. So this car is known to have a leaking valve cover and or valve cover gasket. So that's definitely one of the things in searching for the car that you want to look out for. When I went to purchase this car, I actually found out that the valve cover gasket was leaking. And so I was able to negotiate the price based on that. Easy telltale sign, you'll see oil residue from the side right there or you'll see smoke coming from the engine when the car is hot another thing to look out for as well that i also found out in my ownership um, these radiators are very prone to cracking as well a crack happened right here for my old previous one i had it switched out coolant will leak out and you also have higher engine temperatures okay we got that swapped out the radiator was actually very cheap on this car um, under 100 bucks really easy to change everything else was pretty much um, kept up to date as you guys have seen in previous videos we've done oil changes spark plugs all of those things since then i was able to make it to the way i liked it 
spec it out properly giving it that oem plus look and i'm really happy with the end result i'll do another video talking about all the mods that i've done to it um but just so you guys know it's tuned on a mhd stage 2 plus tune we did all the work with that as well and the car has been performing amazing since then definitely very responsive nice on the throttle shifts perfectly no complaints now for those of you who are interested in getting into a 335i i definitely should tell you no matter if it's a n55 motor or an n54 motor maintenance is definitely key you want to look for something that definitely has had all the maintenance up to date and definitely has been taken care of properly which means that oil changes have been done necessary parts that needed to be changed have been done such as water pump thermostat valve cover gasket definitely one of the number one things to take care of when getting into this car you always have to check for leaks um, but for, for the most part this car with the n55 motor is a very reliable platform this is the first generation of the n55 they came up with the second generation that's in the f30 chassis they did a few number of updates to the engine which made it even more reliable but for the most part this e90 generation has been fantastic at least to me um, thankfully enough i was able to get a very good example and everything that i wanted to do to the car has been done the car isn't perfect in all honesty in me choosing a car i definitely want something that's very sporty has a nice sound system has an overall good look and definitely reliable now the car does deliver on a lot of points only thing i would say that it doesn't really do that well might not be the main reason why you would get the car is a sound system the car doesn't have the iDrive system and it does have the standard bmw sound system for me personally i've been in cars that have had harman kardon bang on olufsen i love those things i love listening to music when i'm driving and i love to have a good overall experience one of the things i would have upgraded on the car i would have gotten it a better sound system just to make sure that the bass is thumping and all of that but for me and what i wanted to do with the car it wasn't really that necessary for me to do that i would have put an android radio in it but i didn't want to necessarily take away from the functionality and possibly devalue the car anymore these cars have depreciated very nicely and right now you can actually get them at a really good deal that's one of the main things that i think makes this car so popular it's very it's a very good value for money believe it or not i actually got my car under ten thousand dollars and right now if i'm trying to sell it i think i could probably get about twelve or eleven thousand for it you know, especially because i haven't put that much miles on it and everything has been taken care of as far as maintenance everything has been up to date the car performs flawlessly and i have no complaints all right now as far as the handling the suspension is pretty nice the car is on lowering springs so it turns in very good the car steering feel is definitely it definitely has a good steering weight to it that's one of the things i noticed with bmws compared to other brands the steering feel is very strong definitely makes you feel more engaged with the road and that's something i really like as well i do think in the future if i wanted to i would have upgraded some of the suspension maybe have gotten coilovers and some upgraded sway bars for me driving around town on the highway cruising it's not really it's not really a make or break thing for me so that's why i chose to keep it just with the springs now one of the nice things i love about the car especially with this motor is the sound the car sounds amazing and especially with the downpipes and the bmw m performance exhaust that i have on it it really opens up the engine sound and trust me when this thing crackles you really hear it i have the burble tune set on mild right now and the actual length of the burble to about less than two seconds it's definitely very sporty very deep and i definitely love all the car sounds especially with that combination <laughs> If you're looking for something that's again sporty reliable this is the best car that you can get i think under fifteen thousand dollars there are a lot of good examples on the market right now and definitely if you guys have any questions feel free to send me a message i'm always here to help definitely with anything you guys can ask me i've learned as much as i possibly could with this vehicle and i think for the next build i definitely want to step up in power that's a little 
Now, with all the mods that I've done to it and uh, and what it's putting out, I don't think I would have gone any more as far as power upgrades. With these, you can upgrade the turbos and and go either pure stage twos or a bigger um, top mounted turbo. But for me, I, I didn't want to go that direction with this platform because it's my daily driver. I wanted something that's not going to give me too much headache, but still be very sporty on the road. And for the modifications I've done to it, it definitely achieves that. Now, for those of you who are interested in doing that, the car has a large platform of aftermarket support. So there's definitely a lot of websites that you guys can go on to, to get your research to look into if you want to do bigger power upgrades. But for me personally, it's perfect at, as where it sits right now. All right, final thoughts on the car. If you guys are looking for something that's fun, sporty, reliable, easy to mod, and pretty inexpensive, I think this is the perfect car to get. Overall, I'm very happy with my purchase and I definitely think that after having it for one year, it's definitely the car that I would recommend for anybody looking to get a nice daily driver. Definitely think getting into another car after this is definitely going to have a little bit more power and definitely going to look for something that has the sound system. But other than that, the car has been fantastic and I don't have any complaints. If you guys like this quick review, Please remember to smash the like button. Please remember to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of the build. I definitely want to hear you guys' thoughts. Let me know if any of you guys own a 335 and what your experience has been like. I really appreciate all the support so far with the build and I hope to keep some more builds coming in the future, guys. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm out.